a big round of applause for Paul Hoover! Let's hear from Paul! Of, uh, a lot of family and friends here tonight, which is great. There you go. Give it up. Give it up. You know, uh, you know what they say, right? Good friends are like fine wine. They get you drunk. I uh, I went to Kennesaw State. Yeah. You know my favorite part about that? I don't feel the need to constantly brag about where I went to school. <laughs> I, uh, I thought about going to one of those online universities, you know? Um, mainly so I could think about all the endless possibilities my unemployment check could bring. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I, I, I really do admire people that can go to some big shot university and then have the self-confidence to hang their frame diploma in their eight-foot cubicle. <laughs> I think some of us know those people, yeah. Now, a little bit, little bit about myself. Uh, someday, I'd like to wear a temporarily out-of-order sign in court. <laughs> Uh, my dream job is to be a flight attendant so I can repeatedly stare at strangers right in the face smiling and call them trash. <laughs> trash? <laughs> trash? I, uh, I love self-checkout. Anybody else? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's quick, it's convenient, and when I have to apply for my next job at Walmart, I'll have 10 years of experience. <laughs> now, Walmart is great because I like to save less while supporting human suffering. <laughs> You know, if you actually close your eyes inside a Walmart, there are all the sounds and smells of an actual sweatshop. <laughs> they, uh, they also have those restaurants in there, you know? Right? Uh, one time, a random stranger was talking to my girlfriend after she had bought beer in one of these. She was talking to her like, You do know beer poisons your body. You do know we're in line for McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one. Uh, a, uh, one time, one time, a naked man came running into Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. I think we found him. <laughs> came running into Walmart, screaming that he was on fire, and doused himself with milk. Best engagement proposal I ever pulled off. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend one time made me uh, breakfast in bed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was a sweet, sweet gesture. Except when the sheets got ruined by the waffle maker. <laughs> Then she tried to wipe some cologne from one of these magazine advertisements on me, you know? I am now the proud wearer of Giorgio Armani, paper cut for men. <laughs> she was, uh, she was also, she was a vegetarian. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but you know, vegetarians have a problem an ethical problem with cows being caged in small pens. Exactly. Who wants to live like that? 
That's why they should be killed. <laughs> No, 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 don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I will, I will respect the vegetarian lifestyle when I see carnivores forming their meat in the shape of vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it is, it's definitely healthier, I get it, I get it. But why does that mean that I have to go to Sweet Tomato and pay $15 for a side salad? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, uh, no, I have these weird thoughts sometimes. Um, I, I would think that uh, gouging out your eyes would have to be at the top of the list of what not to do if you win the lottery. <laughs> the, uh, the worst smell in the world is bacon frying on the kitchen stove and it's at the neighbor's house. <laughs> I got it. I got it. There we go. There we go. We got it. Did you hear about Justin Bieber? He was booed at the Billboard Music Awards when he said he was an artist. <laughs> I get the same response every time I claim I'm a Disney princess. <laughs> um, I once overheard these two ladies in church. Is this a Christian church? <laughs> no. It's Baptist. <laughs> These days, kids have it so easy. I came from the generation of parents who believed in torture. <laughs> My mom would be like, if you don't eat your meatloaf, I'm setting the timer. <laughs> What that meant was I had five minutes to eat everything on my plate or else. It was like some sadistic game show, you know, like... Okay, Paul, let's play. Beat the clock or I beat your ass! My name's Paul Hayward, that's my time. Thank you very much.